Boston's donor and Vincent Martel's old child of the year finished in person. Both of you have access to a non animated show, so what's it like to do an animation? What's it like, Allison? Well, I personally love the challenge because uh, you get to use more of your imagination. You don't have the set dressing and the wardrobe of the character to help bring the star to life. You already have your voice. So I just want something more. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. It's just a, it's it's a very different experience than it would be to work on a live action show, and uh, they're both really fun for different reasons. And uh, I mean, it's really cool to be thrown over with and uh, the extremely ridiculous and very random voices, and uh, people call that work. So it's really cool. <laughs> um, is it ever difficult to get the character? So we get in there. Before we keep going, did you did, when you were reframing? Do you want us to redo that answer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and is the sound it's because there's okay? so much back here. I moved up a Can little. Can you hear us all right? Um, talk as loud as possible, right? Yeah, talk loud. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you guys. That's go ahead and I mean, go back to the start, start old. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you're so good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm noticing the framing. I'm like, She's that's not. You can't use that. So. Right. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace. And I'm Emma. And we're here with Allison Stoner and Vincent Martella of the UC Firm. Both of you have acted in non-animated shows, so what's it like to do an animated show? Well, it's uh, it's a lot different than working on a, a live action series, obviously. I mean, it's just you in a booth with a microphone. And it's uh, it's really cool that uh, we have to go in there and uh, jump around and do random voices. And uh, that's, it's it's much different than being you know on a location somewhere shooting with another actor being by yourself in a booth. Yeah. yeah and you know, you don't have the wardrobe or the set dressing to bring the character to life. You have solely your voice to communicate the story. So, it's really fun. It's a good challenge for us. Um, it's ever difficult to get your character to life. You know, with this particular show, I think the more fun you have with it, the easier it is to find the character because it's about being youthful and having energy and being enthusiastic about making the most of every day. So, for this job, Getting into character really means just showing up on time and uh, maybe doing some jumping jacks to get some energy, but that's it. Yeah, it's mostly about the energy on Phineas and Ferb. I mean, uh, our characters, I think we've played them for so long now. Yeah. It's, not, it's not too difficult to get into the attitude of Phineas or Isabella for us. It's just a matter of keeping their energy and their uh, their attitude, their positive attitude. So it's, it's, that, that's definitely a big deal when you go into the movies. So you've got to be... Really you got to be an optimist to be on Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> if you're a negative Nancy, no. you're out. Bye-bye. <laughs> For me, it's not really about a preference, it's just a different opportunity. Um, with Phineas, it, there's been such great longevity with it. It's been, we've been working on it for about seven years now, even though we've only seen it for less than that amount of time. Um, so it's like our... For less than that. I'm sorry. Well, they've been using it for, what, no, five? About four years, yeah. Four years? Five years. Um, so, you know, it's like our little baby. It's, it's a toddler now. It is. Actually, it's... It's, it's going into it's going into kindergarten, <laughs> but it reads at a second or third grade. <laughs> so I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy on-screen acting as well. But it, those are for you know short, shorter amount of time. Yeah, I, I probably have to say that I prefer mine. Uh, <laughs> no, they're. Uh, <laughs> and ventriloquism is yeah, a close second for him. <laughs> that's up there as well. Interpretive dance. Then these are all above live action. Of course, now if you're asking me, interpretive dance is first. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. This is about him. No, uh, no, live action and animation, they're both great. I mean, acting's just a lot of fun. Yeah. If you enjoy acting, I think you're going to enjoy both of these things. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's, it's about expressing yourself through a different character. And uh, it's a lot of fun to express yourself in the way we get to on Face and Verb. Yeah. And she gets to play a fireside girl, and I get to play a triangular shaped little boy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty cool. <laughs> The neat quality of Phineas and Ferb is that we get to sing and perform, although we're in our characters, we get to uh, do some of the music for the show. So I get to use my voice. Um, and also, dancing, you can dance around in the booth, even though they won't see it. Um, that's a part of getting into character. But uh, because of the scheduling, we're able to record pretty quickly and then get back to other commitments we have. So I still teach dance. I might be now going to China to perform. And we'll find a studio um, while I'm in China to record Phoenix and Ferb. You just pipe me in through a phone line and I can record it from anywhere. Uh, Vincent, what's it hard for you to learn?
Um, no, not really, actually, because, uh, you know, the way I... <laughs> because I birthed this voice. Uh, no, it was... Uh, it was cool for me because they, they were really, uh, they were really excited to let me kind of go in there and figure out what I wanted to do for Phineas, and they, uh, they just gave me a few paragraphs about who Phineas was, and I tried out a bunch of different voices, and, uh, once I got the Phineas voice down, I thought this was a good choice, and, uh, luckily they liked it as well, and so it's, uh, it wasn't really difficult for me to find it, it was just a matter of, uh, what I liked the best, uh, out of the different options that I had, and, uh, yeah, it's just Let been me fun tell you, he's got options. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just been fun though to find out, you know, certain ways to make him laugh or certain ways to make that him sing or be sad when he's very rarely sad. Uh, so it's, it's yeah, it's, it's been a fun uh, roller coaster ride to find out all the different voices that I can do. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I actually still went to school during the entire time that I've been doing Phineas and Ferb. I actually went to a high school, I'm from Florida, I went to high school in Florida, I graduated, walked to the stage, that whole thing, pop and circumstance, that's the song they play. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to college right now as well, so uh, I don't really feel like I missed out on anything. If anything, I feel like I, you know, I was extremely fortunate. I mean, I mean we're doing something... I, that we Pretty love to do. <laughs> no, I mean, it's something that we love to do, though. I mean, if, if anybody gets to do something that they love and uh, they get to do that you know, for work, that's incredible. So the fact that we get to do that at such a young age, we're very fortunate. I love learning and studying, so I'm also enrolled in an online university, and I've even though I've been homeschooled for different segments of my education, I am pretty self-disciplined and I love, I love putting the books on my own. So it hasn't gotten in the way our career. If anything, I think both of our families support um, education and being well-rounded and well-informed so that you're equipped for whatever career you can do. Well, you went to Hogwarts for all the years. Right. I, Hogwarts was fun. <laughs> Just beware, because I'm, I'm level <laughs> 7 top reading thing. <laughs> Sorry, Scientologist joke. It's fine. It's fine. Keep going. What's your really favorite good. part about Andrew? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, you know, well, as Jim Carrey once said, when he stares at himself in the mirror, he can really explore different facial expressions. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> um, but, no, I, I'd say the art of expression in different ways and uh, being able to understand human behavior. I might study sociology in college and to be able to um, go into the, the neurocircuitry of another person and say, why did she make that decision? Um, why did she justify that with this action? Um, I think it's fascinating and it helps you, I think, become a more compassionate individual because you're no longer judging the character, but understanding why they have become who they are. I think for me it's just uh, it's acting as the opportunities it's the that you get. <laughs> uh, no, it's the opportunities that you get though. Like, uh, I mean, the fact that we were working on a, an animated series with uh, the most famous animated company of all time, like that we get to be a part of something right, yeah. you know, so big like this is really cool. I mean, we get the opportunity to, to do you know, films or TV series that take us to these weird places. Uh, we got to come to Chicago right now. Like, I've yeah. never been to Chicago before. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're here at Navy Pier. Promoting for this cartoon show that we've been working on for a good portion of our lives. So it's, yeah, I think the opportunities that it brings, along with the artistic expression, is a really cool thing. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you guys want to work with? Meryl Streep? <laughs> I mean, Allison Stoner was at the top of my list. So oh, wow. Out. Well, you don't have a very high set of goals there. <laughs> Pretty easy to achieve. No, that. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to work with uh, plenty of people. Johnny Depp would be cool, right? He would, if I had seen Pirates, I would be able to tell you why. But I've heard he's great. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. would be a really cool one. <laughs> yep. I haven't seen that movie either. <laughs> um, so we have some quick fire questions for you really quick. Okay. Uh, um, ketchup or mustard? Ooh, ooh mustard. Uh, ketchup. <laughs> quick fire. Sorry. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Chocolate or vanilla? Yeah. Swirl. <laughs> Twitter or Facebook? Twitter, I don't have a Facebook. Twitter, yes, in here. Um, Twilight Saga or Hunger Games? Hunger Games. Okay. Harry Potter. <laughs> Hunger Games! <laughs> TV or computer? Uh, computer. TV. I don't watch TV. No. <laughs> Phineas or Ferb? Phineas. Phineas! <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.